Hey guys, this video is going to be on how much cash you start with when you create or join a game. It only applies to BTD5 and battles as far as I know. I haven't figured out how to do it for Monkey City. And one of the experts in the modding community, his name is Kid Sheldon, he says it's inside the save file for Monkey City, which means we can't really mess with that right now. So this is only going to be for BTD5 and battles. So since this has to do with a game, we're going to be editing the rounds. I'll show you two different ways of doing it. The first is we're going to edit the default round. So create a new project or use any existing one, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be using a new project and I am going to go down until I see game mode definitions and open it up. If you're not familiar, I'm using BTD Toolbox, which lets you create uh, mods super easy for BTD5, Battles, and Monkey City. If you have any questions, I suggest you watch the intro video to this playlist because it kind of explains what everything is and how to get started. Anyways, to edit the default rounds, go to the default folder and then instead of editing default rounds right here, which is the actual like waves of balloons, we're going to edit default mode, which is a game mode. If you notice at the top, we have this setup section right here, which talks about health and money. If you haven't already figured it out, if we change this money section here, it'll change how much cash we start with. So I'm going to change this to 99999 just so you guys can see it. And I'm going to launch this real quick. So I'm in game. I'm going to create a new easy round so you guys can see. And play. Let's overwrite the uh, previous one. And there you go. You can see right here I have a ton of cash for an easy round. And it's not some kind of fake glitch or anything like that because I can place a super monkey down and upgrade the crap out of them and I still have cash. So that's the first way to do it, by editing the default round. Or default mode, I should say. This is going to edit it for any round or game mode, basically, that relies on the default mode file. In BTD Battles, if I'm not mistaken, some of the game modes don't rely on default mode, or they get overwritten in other game modes. So what we would do is we would add the, uh, we would change the starter cache in those game modes. Another reason you might want to do that is if you didn't want to change the starting cache for all game modes, but just one of them, like for example, Impoppable. So now we're going to learn how to do that. So if you want, you can do this one of two different ways. You could edit the difficulty for, I believe, BTD5. I don't think this would affect BTD Battles. Or you could do modes, which works for both BTD5 and Battles. I say I don't believe BTD Battles has a difficulty because I don't think it relies on a difficulty. Anyways, so I'm going to actually edit the easy mode first. If you're in battles, you can just follow along or you can just wait a sec for us to get to the mode section. So when you're doing this in a game mode, basically, you have to make sure there's this setup section first. If you don't see a setup section, you can either just look at it and copy it or you can go like back to default mode and just copy and paste from we got this setup section all the way down to this um, curly bracket right here. But in easy mode, it already has that, so I'm just going to press enter. And uh, let's see here. So we're just going to do a quote, money, and quote, a uh, colon, and then how much money we want to start with. I'm going to say, not, actually, let's go 696969 and put a comma. If you're using BTD Toolbox, if you did it right, it'll say valid JSON right here. I'm also going to change what the default uh, starting cache was back to 650 because I don't want to get anything mixed up. I launched the game. We're going to try making an easy game and a medium game to see what happens. So I'm in easy and you can see it's pretty close to 696969. The reason why it's not exact is because of the extra starter cache you get, like because of uh, the lab upgrades. So you saw it work for easy mode. Let's go ahead and make a medium uh, difficulty here medium play and look at that it's not increased again this is because we edited the easy game mode to have increased starter cache but not the medium game mode when we edit default.mode it'll affect all the files that use it but this time we didn't do that so it's only going to work for the ones we edit so I'm back in BTD toolbox and I want to demonstrate what it looks like to edit the mode file since BTD Battles has a lot more modes than BTD5, I'll be using a BTD Battles project, but you guys can use either one. Um, I'm going to be editing practice.mode. If you notice, it doesn't have a section for setup. It's pretty easy to add. 
Just click on this curly bracket right here and you want to be on the right side of it. Then press enter and we're going to type setup like this inside of double quotes, put a colon and then an open curly bracket, press enter a couple times, a closed curly bracket and finally a comma. So to explain this a little bit, we have put this word setup right here inside of quotes to almost define it like it's parameter or something that the JSON file has kind of like, it's like a box. And we're saying this box right here is setup. And then we have to put this colon here. It's like indicating what comes next is what's inside the box. And then what's actually inside the box is from this uh, open curly bracket all the way down to this closed curly bracket. So anything in here we put is like inside the box. And finally, we have a comma at the very end because we're saying there's more going on. There's more stuff after this, which in this case is the rules. So hopefully that makes that a little more uh, understandable. Inside these curly brackets for setup, like before, we're gonna have money inside of quotes, but we're gonna put that colon at the end and then type in a number, uh, let's do uh, 987654. Now I am not putting a comma after this because there's nothing else inside this setup section. But if I added something, for example, like health, oops, let me put that here health, and let's do, you know, like 50 as an example, I would have to put a comma after money in order for it to have valid JSON. But since we're not doing that, we're gonna leave it like this and let's test it out. So I've got battles up. I made the mod for practice mode. So in order to get to practice mode, you gotta go to battle school and then click on practice. And now we're actually in practice mode and you can see that I do have a ton more cash than I did originally. And it is, real cash because I can spend it. Anyways, that's the video guys. I hope you were able to learn something good and I hope you enjoyed it. We do have a couple Discord servers you can get some help in or find some fun people to talk to. The links to those are in the description. And if I ever find out how to change the starter cash for Monkey City rounds, I'll let you guys know. Uh, just as one little workaround, I do have a video on how to change how much cash you get per round. So you could use that as a way to kind of change it a little bit. You can just raise that up pretty high and then you'd get a lot more cash for every round in Monkey City. And you can find the video for that inside this modding playlist. All right, see you guys later.